Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Terry. And we're Escaping, Escaping the, the Empty Nest. Nest. Well, hey everyone, welcome back. If you watched our video from last week, you will realize that we're now in Germany. Uh, we visited Karlsruhe, which was the home of my grandfather. And now we have taken the train and we are in Munich, Germany. That's right. One of the most famous restaurants in Munich is Hofbrauhaus. It's kind of a tourist trap, but that's okay. We wanted to go there anyway for reasons we'll detail later in the video. We stayed near the train station, but we walked to Hofbrauhaus instead of taking the U-Bahn. It really wasn't that bad a walk. It, it was a lot closer and easier to get to than it looked to be on the map. So our route took us right through the famous arch there into Marienplatz and right near the Rothaus. Yeah, it was, it was very impressive. Of course, you got to take a picture of that when you're there. One of the first things that surprised us was that there's no assigned seating. You just kind of go in there and you're looking for a place to go. Um, we went on a Monday evening. We were not expecting it to be as busy as it was, but as you can see from the video, I'm wandering around all over the place and just trying to find us a place to sit down. Being typical Americans, we thought, okay, you just find a table where the two of us are going to sit and that's that. Yeah, it was a little bit like driving around an American mall on Black Friday, trying to find a parking space. It was, you know, you, we, we could have sat down in a couple places, but we would have been like right next to somebody else, and we didn't feel right about that considering COVID still going on. The second thing that surprised us was how hot it was on the inside. Now, it was warm outside. It wasn't like 100 degrees or anything, but it was warm. But it was hotter inside than it was outside. It was probably around 88, 90 degrees inside the building. Wow, no air conditioning, no ventilation, hot food, tons of people. It was very uncomfortable inside. Honestly, we were glad when we found the courtyard outside that they allowed us to, uh, to sit down uh, it was very comfortable outside, but inside was unbearable. So the reason that we were able to find so many seats outside was they had sections that evidently were marked off that we could oh, sit okay, in, boy. even though we sat there anyway. Our waiter informed us that they were really short staffed and allowed us to stay where we were sitting on the condition that if anybody else tried to come and sit near us that we tell them that they couldn't sit there yeah so we were shooing people away constantly because there it was a busy night and everybody was looking for a table to sit at now for the good news there's these ladies that walk around hofbrau house selling these enormous pretzels that are just incredible they're uh, as good as they look. You're seeing the pictures now. Now that's a pretzel. <laughs> and uh, I believe they were five euros each. And I think the ladies only took cash. So make sure you have some cash on you. It's not something you can just add to your bill, but don't pass up one of these pretzels. Mm -hmm. They've got so much flavor and they're so big and soft. They're absolutely incredible. It was, it was actually the highlight of our evening was that pretzel. <laughs> so for our dinner, we ordered the schnitzel which it was average, it wasn't that great, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't the best we had, but um, we had kind of been warned that Hofbrauhaus was more of a tourist trap and not really a uh, very good restaurant, and so that was fine. So here's the real reason we went to Hofbrauhaus. Terry is a trumpet player and I teach tuba and play tuba for a living, so we wanted to make sure we saw an authentic German umpa band. And since we were there on a Monday, we were told that Hofbrau House was the only place that probably would have a live band there during the week and not on the weekends. So we wanted to make sure we saw it, and they did not disappoint. Mm -mm. As musicians, I thought it was a first-class organization. I wish we could have heard them longer, but because we sat outside, we didn't get to hear them very much. But before we left, we stopped for a spell and did some filming and watched them.
it was a very good band. And again, between the pretzel and the band, we have no hesitations about saying we had a great time there. So we really wish we could have found a seat inside to listen to that band for a little bit longer, but the weather was about to turn on us. And we had a really hard time trying to flag down our waiter. <laughs> he had so many tables. It was just, as soon as you'd see him, he was gone again. Yeah. Um, he, hard worker. He was a yeah. very hard worker. And um, so we were we were tempted to just leave our money there on the table and go. But we waited and we found him and, and paid our bill. Got a couple of souvenirs there. Oh, yeah. uh, we had planned on getting gelato afterwards. But because of the weather coming in, the rain, we weren't sure if it was going to rain a long time, be a hard storm. We needed to get back to the hotel. So we went ahead and decided to make the decision to go get our gelato the next day. Yeah. We'll talk about our gelato trip very soon, but if you've been to Hofbrau House, let us know if your impressions were about the same as ours. We liked it, we really did. The food wasn't amazing, but it was worth the trip. So we are in the middle of a huge European trip, France, Germany, Austria, and Italy, and even the, the flight back to New York at the end of the trip. We'll, we'll cover all of that in future videos. So we really appreciate you being here. Leave us a comment, leave us a like, and subscribe, please. And thanks for watching, and bye, bye for now. now. Look at us, we're in Germany. <laughs> <laughs>